Our solar system has hundreds of moons in total orbiting around the planets. Jupiter was crowned as the Moon King, at 79 moons orbiting around it. But now, Saturn has taken that title, and there's a contest with it. Supernova style science news with Joey Seven Sage. 20 new moons, all about 3 miles or 5 kilometers in diameter, have been found orbiting around Saturn which make it have a total of 82 moons orbiting around it compared to Jupiter's 79. 17 of the new moons are orbiting in the retrograde direction, meaning they're orbiting in the opposite direction that the planet is rotating. The other three are orbiting in a prograde direction, meaning they're orbiting in the same direction that the planet is rotating. Two of the prograde moons are close to Saturn and take about two years to orbit around the planet. The other prograde moon and the 17 retrograde moons are much further out and take more than three years to orbit around the planet. These are all included in Saturn's outer moons, which can be split up into three groups according to their inclinations or angle at which they are orbiting Saturn. They are the Inuit group, the Norse group, and the Gaelic group. It is believed that these groups were once larger moons that shattered and are now many other moons. The two prograde moons close to Saturn are a part of the Inuit group due to their 46 degree inclination. The 17 retrograde moons have the same inclination as the Norse group. One of these retrograde moons have become the farthest out moon around Saturn. The other new prograde moon that was found has an inclination of 36 degrees, the same as the Gaelic group. However, the difference with this new moon from the group is it is much further out from the planet than all of the others. This indicates that it may have been pulled outwards over time or might not even be associated with this grouping of moons. These new moons were discovered using the Subaru telescope atop of Mauna Kea by Scott Shepard from Carnegie, David Jewett from UCLA, and Jane Kleena from the University of Hawaii. Last year, Shepard discovered 12 new moons around Jupiter, and Carnegie held a contest to name five of them. And now, this is the coolest part. You're going to be able to submit names for all 20 of these Saturnian moons. In this contest, due to the rules, you get to be a real scientist. Scientists have to stay within these same naming rules when naming a planetary body. So you get to be one of the scientists. Let me tell you how this contest works. Each moon will be named after a giant from its group's respective mythology. So 17 will be Norse giants, two will be Inuit giants, and one will be a Gaelic giant. You can submit any names that fall into this criteria. But when submitting, you also should include a reason as to why you think that name should be chosen. Now, this is how you submit your picks. Do a tweet tagging at Saturn Lunacy and using the hashtag name Saturn's moons, along with your name choice and why you think it should be chosen. And be creative, even do a video or a picture with your tweet. Be careful though, make sure that a name you submit is not already taken by another planetary body. The link to easily check that will be in the description below. But you don't need to worry too much. Many things in our solar system is named after Greek and Roman mythology. This is a pretty cool contest. I think I'm also going to join in. That'll make a great Sage Lab note. If you decide on a name, also comment below as well as send it in to them because I want to hear about it. Good luck to everyone else who submits some names, and I can't wait to see what these new moons names will be. If you want to know more, check out the links below in the description. If you want more cool science news, follow. And remember to share cool science stories with your friends to show your supernova style.